Hi Pisces, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you hit that notification bell to be notified for your future readings. And for anyone returning, welcome back family. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. For all of my mothers, happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for all of the hard work and dedication that you do for your seeds. We truly appreciate you, and I hope that you enjoy your weekend, okay? Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all evil negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold, and anyone out there showing me love. I'm sending much love and light to you. All right. So what do we have for Pisces spirit? What do we got for my Pisces? So you guys, um, there's fairness and truth coming your way here. All right. I feel like you have been a very loyal individual to a lot of folks. You know, um, your family, uh, to those that are loyal to you, your friends, right? Even uh, your, you know, people that you work with, right? Um, and there's some truth and fairness coming your way. Um, this is good karma coming your way here. All right. And this is Pisces energy uh, for me too as a reader. I do see some devastation here. All right. So, whatever truth this is, is coming your way, to be completely honest with you. I feel like it's not going to be something that you're happy with, but you're going to appreciate the truth, okay? Um, so, I am seeing a situation that's making you feel a little bit uneasy, but you appreciate the honesty um, that's coming behind the situation, all right? Uh, so tell me more about what's coming towards Pisces. Righteousness. Righteousness is coming towards you, uh, Pisces. Whatever this truth is, it's only right that you know it. All right? Um, because it's going to change some things for you. Um, whatever this is here. All right? Um, it's going to uh, put you in a space to where you can end something, to start something new. Right? Or just put you in a space of clarity. Alright. So that you can redirect your energy. And transmute this energy. Um, this is what spirit wants you to know. Uh, to be able to transmute this energy. Um, into something. In order to create a change in your life. Alright. Uh, so spirit tell me more about. This truth. Um, this truth that we need to know about for Pisces. What is the truth for Pisces? What is the truth for Pisces? Change. Courage. Change. Moving forward. I see somebody with suitcases here. Some of you guys, after you realize this truth, it's going to allow you to move forward. It's going to give you the courage to change a certain situation or a relationship with a particular individual or multiple people. All right. Tell me more about the truth for Pisces. Decisions. This is all about divine timing. Um, it's a time and a place for things. See, I feel like there was something that you may have been holding back from. A change that needed to happen. And there's something coming towards you that's going to encourage you to make the first step. 
This could be something in regards to a union, a partnership, a, uh, a, a relationship, right? That you may have felt tied to because of the attraction, the chemistry. <clears throat> it could be with the fire sign for some of you guys and Aries, Leo, Sag. What does this person want to tell Pisces? Okay, they haven't been truthful with you. They haven't expressed their truth. Okay, so can we get to the point? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be impatient, spirit. Um, I guess that's the fire in me, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm on camera. Hold on. <laughs> spirit, I do have patience. But can we please get to the truth? Apology, they want forgiveness. Okay, forgiveness for what? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so let me put it to you like this. All right. You could be dealing with a twin flame. This is maybe why it's so hard to let this person go. Um, I feel like there's some things that happened in the past life with this person. And you could have just met this person again this lifetime. Felt this dope connection, this chemistry, this fire. And you may have taken a chance on something. Well, um, if this person decided to not message you, to not respond to you, to pull back their energy, to have a change of any sort in this connection... It is because there is two unions here. I will tell you that much. All right. There's two unions here. And this is where these decisions are coming in. At, okay. This person has not told you that what's going on is they got some chemistry with another individual here. This is something that may or may not be exposed to you verbally. I see they have the desire to tell you this, but then I also see expression in reverse. You could find out something around autumn time, or you may have already found out something around autumn time. All right. But I feel like this person tried to put you in a, a tight spot where you would feel control. And they know this connection is very strong, right? So you, you've been open to receive the truth, right? But this person has been holding back. And see, you realize with the North Node cosmic energy, you know your purpose, all right? And so this is why righteousness is coming your way. Um, and, and it's because you're the type of person where you will, you have courage. You'll make the change. You're very spiritual and very protected, you know. And so you got somebody in regret because it's like now you are focusing on your self-care. You are. You know, um, you've thought about this. You've spent time alone thinking and reevaluating this situation. And you understand your self-worth. And you know with your self-worth, see, you can't expect anything from this person. The expectations are within yourself. Through your manifesting, expecting the best for yourself, knowing what you truly deserve and standing on that. This is probably why I got that energy, standing on that. Yeah, you standing on that. So this person thought that they were going to do some type of, I don't know what they were thinking they were going to do. Not communicate the truth with you. Like your intuition don't work, I guess. All right. So it's like they want to tell you, but I don't see them really truly telling you. Because with that expression in reverse, it's either they don't know how to express themselves. All right. And I see you setting up boundaries as you should, as you should, as you should, as you should. And a lot of you guys, like I said, you're transmuting that energy. You could be currently writing a book about your story dealing with this energy. Right? You know? Because you call feelings for this person. You know? But it's like you, you had to set boundaries for them because a lot of you guys are alchemists. Like you are really truly connected. And it's like not something that you can negotiate your connection with spirit. Some of you guys have already actually went through an initiation. 
I see this. Okay, you've went through an, an initiation. So, and you could be a healer for some of you guys. You've done so many cleansings that you refuse to pollute your energy. I'm hearing this. You don't, everybody can't be around you. Everybody can't touch you. Everybody definitely can't sleep with you. And when it comes to these boundaries, ain't nobody crossing your boundaries. Because of what you already, you didn't already initiate it. You didn't already made this oath. All right. You are a truth speaker and a truth seeker. And there's nothing that nobody can do about that. And continue. Because I see you guys doing your, some of you guys are doing your protection rituals. Continue to do that. Absolutely. And your cleansings. Absolutely. I see you ascending um, and your healing. Of self and others. Alright. Alright. So tell me. Um, what else do we need to know for my Pisces? What else do we need to know for Pisces? Angel number 1112. Some of you guys are connected with someone born on 1110, 1111, or 1112. I see a lot of passion coming in here. Somebody's lusting after you, especially since you set your boundaries and you may have started focusing on something, mastering something, you move forward, you packed your things for some of you guys and hit the road. Somebody could be living near a road rack, uh, a road, a railroad track or working near a railroad track or something, spending, I don't know. Who is this knight? Who is this player energy? There's player energy. You set boundaries with a player. Oh, this person was emotionally closed off too and very manipulative. They come across as kind of needy. I feel like you blocked this person. You made the decision to just block them uh, and focus more on your own balance here, especially with spirit, because you feel betrayed. You feel betrayed and you're just wanting to focus on your healing at this point. You don't want to negotiate anything. You want to focus on your healing. Now, I see the Two of Cups energy here. Um, so this is giving me a very romantic connection. Uh, you could be moving from a betrayal into something else, a new soulmate connection with a uh, either a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or Aries, Leo, Sag. Or this person can have both placements in their chart. All right. Um, I feel like this is somebody who may be a business owner or they're just about their business. They're a leader. Um, very compassionate individual, but they're, they're, they are pretty charming. Okay. I feel like this person is going to charm you. Um, I do feel like this person may be spiritual as well, though. Uh, they're giving off this kind of clean energy, but they do have a little... They got a, some 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 fire to them, so you know they live on the edge a little bit. But I see happily ever after with the Ten of Cups energy with this person. Okay, this is the uncon the unconditional love situation. So you're moving um, with setting your boundaries. You really made it uh, easier for spirit to give you these blessings. Okay, um, you created a space to receive. All right, um, because I feel like you were dealing with somebody who was just taking your energy. They were not being honest with you and you deserve truth. You deserve truth. All right. Um, you're giving me this energy of someone that's very healing and very giving and nurturing. And you absolutely don't deserve a player, masculine or feminine energy. I wouldn't care. All right. I would not care. All right. Look, thank you, spirit. My spirit team just backed me up. Ace of Swords. We wouldn't care. Yeah. You did this for yourself, see? You just work with spirit. And now you're being blessed. All right? You're going to feel completely completed by this love situation. Not, all, not only does this person love you unconditionally, they have a sense of power in their presence. All right? This person earns respect, all right, and, they, and they're a very respectful individual. They got a lot of heart and a lot of courage, 
and they got feelings for you. So whatever betrayal you've been through, okay, um, you know, continue to focus on your healing with that because you got somebody that's coming in with this leadership energy, masculine or feminine. And if you are a masculine energy, okay, uh, this lady, uh, she's a very hard worker. She's very passionate. Uh, she loves with her full heart, but she don't take no mess. Okay, she don't take no mess. And she's crazy about you. All right. Uh, she sees you as being her forever. All right. Um, so this is what you've manifested. And for you ladies, um, this is somebody who is a real man. All right. This is somebody who tends to your emotional needs and they take care of you. Um, this, this is a stable individual. All right. They take care of home. They take care of family. This person, they're okay with you working if you decide to work. But this is the type of masculine that will pay all the bills. You don't need to go 50-50 with this person and that. But you do have other things to do, of course. It's about matching energy. Um, so they're going to give you that 100%. All right. And I, and, I, and I see you matching their energy with the Two of Cups. So you're giving to, you're giving back to, all right? Um, you guys are going to travel the world together. And there's some type of project or work. This person could be already be a business owner with the King of Wands. Or this is you. But whatever it is, it's going to create a space for you guys to travel. Uh, business is going to pick up very quickly for you guys. Uh, because each one of you individually have mastered self. I love this. Oh, man. I love this. Yeah. You've mastered self. So even though this person is passionate, they will take you down. But it's about the mind. And you got the type of mind that it, it takes here. You've already been working consistently um, on your self-mastery. You know? Uh, so I feel like there's a lot of success and support in this connection that's coming your way. And I feel like it's something that you've been waiting on for a long time. Okay. This is not an emotional closed off individual. This is somebody who knows what they're wanting and they are able to express their emotions. In fact, they're very creative. Okay. Um, so the way that they express their emotions are not only through words and actions. They get creative with things. All right. You're going to love this. You're going to love this, this energy coming towards you, Pisces. You're going to love it. Oh, told you. Hierophant. Bam. I mean, this is higher level commitment. Even marriage for some of y'all could be a Taurus. But I see one thing that I'm concerned about, and I have to tell you this. Because I love you. All right. Just know that this person looks at you like the empress. You could be emotionally closed off. You you may be. You've been through some things dealing with this person in the past. You have. So I see you with this seven of wands energy because of this ten of swords. You see. But listen. All right. Please, please focus on your healing, all right? Because what I don't want you to do, um, and I'm saying this for some, if this ain't your part, don't take it. I don't care, but I got to say it. I don't want you to put this person in the same category as your last person, okay? They are sexy. They are charming. They do make a lot of money. They may have their own business. They are a person of leadership. They're going to attract people to them. Okay? They are. All right? Don't be stressed by this. Because remember, you're the empress. There's only one of you. All right? Don't let this be a reason that you hold back. Because this person is wanting to invest a lot in you. All right? And the past person is going to be very stressed out about this. They may come back and try to argue or fight or put you in competitive situation. 
or try to like take your energy back from this new lover. But I feel like this is a divinely div uh, divinely guided connection here. And with the Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Empress, listen. Ain't nothing this person can do. Um, this past person. And if you're waiting on them to change, I done already pulled the spread. They're not about to tell you the whole truth. They might give you some of it. But it's going to be watered down. Okay. So I say enjoy your new journey. Yes. Will of Fortune. They, and then you got the Queen of Wands. Backing up the, the King of Wands. Okay. Then you got the King of Pentacles here. Yeah. Yeah. Both of you guys are going to build something very strong and stable together. All right. Keep your boundaries when this person comes your way. Okay. Don't let them interfere with your investments or your peace that you're building in this new connection. Close off completely. It's dead. It's dead. All right. Yeah. So just know. Um, that you have something beautiful, wholesome, and fulfilling coming towards you, Pisces. And you deserve it. All right. So those are the messages that I got for you today, my loves. Oh, one more. Okay, I got to take it. Three of cups. Yeah. Celebrations, weddings, fun, friends. You know, um, this is what's coming towards you. All right. So stay in your energy. You know, stay moving forward. Because if you move backwards, there is nothing there. Okay, I promise you. Nothing but cycles. All right. So those are the messages that I got for you today. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like this reading, if it resonates with your story, be sure to show me some love and thumbs up this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Check out the second channel, Troy's Mermaid Palace LLC. And I'm sending each and every last one of you love and light. Peace.